Solos with its budget desktop has always been one of the most beautiful Linux distro. However, the default theme of Solos 4 is not the most appealing. It is too dark in my opinion. And I think many users would like to change it. So in this video, I will show you how to install additional themes and icons in your Solos desktop to make a beautiful desktop look awesome. I will show you how to install all the available icons and themes from the default Solus repository. Then I will show you how to install themes and icons manually if you download them from somewhere else. For example, you can use the site gnomelook.org. And in the end, I will also show you how to install and change icons in LibreOffice. Because if you change your desktop theme and icons, your LibreOffice icons may look little out of place. So, let's get started. Although the Solus repository is not the largest one, there are surprisingly many themes available in it. To install them, you need to open the software center, go to the search tab, and search for the term hyphen theme. And you will see a list of available themes. And among these themes, you need to search for GTK theme and icon theme. And you can also install cursor themes. For example, let's install this Ant Dracula GTK theme. You just click install, enter your password, and the theme is available on your system within a few seconds. To activate it, you need to go to the budget desktop settings, and here in the widgets, this theme should be available. Here it is. Actually, it is a pretty nice theme. This is how it looks. This is how ramen looks, and this is how the menu looks in this theme. It's pretty nice. So similar way, you can install also icon themes and cursor themes. Here are my favorite combinations of themes which I installed from the default repository. Ant Dracula desktop theme and Terra purple icons. Arc dark desktop theme and paper icons. Adapt Anoko Ita theme and Suro++ plus plus icons, Evo Pop Azure theme and Orangella icons, Vertex theme and Mocha icons. But what if the available themes are not enough for you, and you want to install something special and look very differently from any other Solus user? For that, you can go install some themes manually. For example, you can search for themes and icons on the website gnomelook.org. Yeah, I know, this is the GNOME repository, but all these icons which are available here will work in budget too. Actually, icons are pretty universal, so most of them should work in budget desktop, even if they've been written for the other desktop. And as I have mentioned in my Solos 4 review, budget desktop has inherited a lot of things from GNOME desktop. In particular, it is written in JTK3. So, you can install JTK3 themes and icons, from gnomelook.org. So, you just search for icons here. For example, you can always go to this panel, there are many popular icons themes which you can install. But for this video, I have pre-selected this Tela icon theme. And on the page of this icon theme, you go to the Files tab and download the theme archive. Then I go to my Downloads folder. Here I right click on this archive and select extract here. When the archive is extracted, enter this folder and check its content. As you can see, here inside this archive we have two folders with different themes. So if you see these numbers, these are different icon size. And this is what you need to install on your system. So to install them you just need to copy, go to your home folder. And here you need to paste these two icons folders into your dot icons folder. To be able to see all folders which name starts with dot, you need to either press Ctrl H, or alternatively you can go to the Nautilus menu and select show hidden files. As you can see I don't have dot icons folder. This is probably the case for you too, so you just right click here and create new folder and name it dot icons. After the folder is created, just paste the icon folders inside it. 
After that, go to your budget desktop settings. If you had your budget desktop settings open before, remember to restart it. And in the icons, you can see I have these two themes available. Let's select it. And here how this theme looks. Actually, it's not bad. If you liked this video so far, please subscribe and activate the bell notification so you won't miss any future video. Similarly, we can install desktop themes. But remember, for the budget desktop, you need to look for GATK free themes, so you just click here and find your favorite theme. Again, you can always look at some of the most popular themes here. I have preselected macOS theme here. <laughs> it's not that I like macOS theme, but I know many users for some reason want their desktop to look like macOS. So there is a possibility. You go to this file tab and download the theme. If there are many different themes available, carefully look at their name. For example, here it's quite obvious that this is probably light theme and this is dark theme. Let's download the light theme. Go to your downloads folder. Again, extract the archive. Here it is, check the content. This is what should be in any theme folder. And copy it to your dot themes folder. I already have the themes folder, if you don't have it, you can create it and paste the theme here. Now I need to restart my budget desktop settings. And if I go to my theme settings, I can see here's this newly installed theme. This is how it looks. Actually it is also pretty nice theme and it fits quite well with these Stella icons. I also would like to say, if you change your desktop theme and icons, your LibreOffice icons may look a little out of place. For example here, you can see these dark icons look good, but they still don't fit very nice with this theme. So to change them, you need to go to the Tools, Options, and here in the View option, you go to Icon Style, and you can select different styles until you find the one which fits the best your current desktop theme. For example, for this case, I really like Colibri style. I select it, press OK, and as you can see, these icons look much better with the current theme. If you have installed some other icons and themes in your solos, please share it in the comment section. Let's collect the set of the most beautiful solos icons and themes. Thank you for watching!